This is my favorite road and it has just had a massive update, which not only brings it up to 2023 standards, but also makes it one of the most realistic in Assetto Corsa. Welcome to Asui. But before we try out the brand new version, we need to go back and see what made the original so great. So this is the 2017 version of Isui, and it's probably the first toge I ever played. And the fact I'm still having fun with it six years later is a testament to how good it is. It's laid out in such a way that makes it hard to believe it's actually a public road. It's a toga that really makes you think about every corner as if it was a racetrack, or in this case, a drift track. The corners flow so beautifully, it's just, well, it's, it's absolutely perfect. And when you're doing this kind of dripping style of driving, which is grip and drifting for those not in the know, it flows so well. The natural weight transfers of the car pull it around every consecutive corner, it's perfect. It just makes it such a satisfying experience that's hard to get bored of really. At parts it narrows just like here and you can coon in between the guardrail and the, the rock wall right there which increases the stakes as you drive the absolute socks off the car and then you're rewarded with some short straights and a chance to chill but it doesn't last too long before you're thrown into a hairpin. You can't become complacent because you will go straight into the guardrail. It's so easy to do understeer on those. On the dirt there a bit. Kick that rear end out, that was beautiful. Now this is one of my favorite sections of the track coming up. Uh, let's try and not screw it up because I really want to show this off because it's so cool, man, it is so cool. It's basically a massive triple apex corner. <laughs> you go so fast around them that the car just wants to oversteer so much that you have to keep it tidy or else you're going wide. I could talk about every corner on this road in that kind of detail, but I'll try to keep it as short as possible because we need to get onto the 2022 version. And for the finale of this older version, look at this big stonking double apex. Dares you to rub the guardrail. And then we're ejected into the finale, which is the double hairpins. Bit of handbrake there. Let's see if we can slide it. Oh, taking a bit of curve. Can we get the last one right? No, we're under steering, we're under steering. Not quite, but let's see if we can nail those double hairpins in the 2023 update for this absolutely epic toge. So here we go, 2023 Isui. I'm so excited for this. It is finally here. Oh wow, the first thing I'm noticing is just how narrow it is. It makes the A6 feel like an absolute chunk, which is uh, really saying something. I can't imagine trying to take a new car down here that would be absolute murder. Let's see if we can get some sliders jumping. Massive Scandi flick there. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. It still flows nicely. They don't flow as well as the original. It feels like they're a lot tighter. I was worried with this being a realistic version that it would lose some of the magic that the original had, the flowiness. But honestly, even though the road is tighter, and the corners aren't as geometrically perfect like a racetrack would be. I ain't even care, man. There's so many imperfections on the road that I'm feeling, like off-camber off bits, bumps in the road, minute elevation changes, which uh, make the overall driving experience feel so much more dynamic as, compa as compared to the old one, which was kind of flat in comparison. As you can see, we're still absolutely able to whip a car around here sideways, which is always a good sign. Coming back up to the triple apex thing. Let's see if it's changed or if it's still a brilliant bit of cornerage. Here we go. There's one. We can take a bit more speed with no oversteer this time. Maybe our tires aren't as cooked. There we go. It has not changed. I can confirm. Hitting a bit of wall there. Oh, we're gonna tree cut. There's so many trees, man. It makes a sensation of speed so much higher. Let's see if we can do a little gutter drop on this grass patch. No. <laughs> Too much speed. Too tight of a turn. We'll have to get that later on. Coming up to the double hairpins now, I think. It's strange, it's so familiar. Look at that dip on the inside of the corner there. The car does not like that. It feels so familiar, but so different at the same time. Rip the HB, here we go. Perfect. Oh, we'll be just doing inner wheel lift on that hairpin. That better look sick in the replay. Onto a fast section here, and I think there's something I want to try. Remember to break this corner, so easy to run wide there. And yes, we can go through here. Absolutely pointless, but it feels cool. Remember to have a break down here because this is a very deceptive corner. Massive hairpin after a very fast straight. That one always catches me out. I'm glad I remembered it was there. Oh my God, the roads are mental. 
There's so many bumps that just want to break your car's traction. Oh. Now I think this is where, yeah, this is where the old Usui ended. You know the rules, we've got to drift this corner. It's the law of Usui. Now all this is fresh new content for us to enjoy. Hopefully it still feels like a Usui. Oh yeah, it does. We understeer straight through that hairpin. It does indeed still feel like a Usui. Now you're gonna see my driving start to fall apart here as we get onto the stuff that I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I manifested that one into existence. Oh look, new bridge. We do need more slip angle though. Let's see if we can pull the slip angle technique out with some massive flicks. Come on, I'm gonna use the brake as well. Just to get the front end pitched in. Oh, that was a bit of a gutter drop there. Some classic initial D maneuvers going on right here. Oh, this section is nice. It's heating up, it's spicing up, baby. Wall tap that guardrail, let's go. Totally intentional that was. Oh, this is brilliant. It feels more like a Sui than the older Sui did. The old half we've been driving. This is so much fun. Nice bit of scenery there, look at that. I have to say, I am, I am impressed with how the map looks. For those that don't know, it's by the same guy that made the 2022 Akina, Project Kaido is his name. Oh, that's a wall. And th this mod and the new Akina feel like brother and sister. They all they, they both have the same vibe. They're both very uniform. Obviously, the roads feel vastly different, but the way they look and the way they feel, very similar. So if you like the new Akina, you'll probably like this. Project Kaido somehow made Akina an actual fun road. So imagine what it can do to an actual fun road. All right, let's try and actually get some good driving clips here. I need them for the intro. You'll know if I uh, got them or not. Let's see if we can do some sides without eating a guardrail or a wall. Oh, you see, it still has that flow when a car just wants to turn itself into corners. I absolutely love it. This is my style of driving. Very technical, very flowy. I feel like once this fully drops, it's gonna be the most popular towgate for a while. I'm having a lot of fun. And yeah, you heard that right, it is still unfinished. Still unfinished. You have to sub to the Project Kaido Patreon to get it, but once it releases, it'll be totally free. I think it's only got to add the finishing touches, so it should be out pretty soon. Oh, that's a bloody curb. I think we got on two wheels there for a second. Oh! Another inner wheel lift. Man, I love doing those. So satisfying. So cool. There we go. Massive meaty Scandi flick to finish it off. Oh, that's a dirt drop there. Our rear wheels are on the grass. No bother though. Jesus, look at the state of the road there. That camber is nuts. How many times have I said camber this video? It makes that much of a difference to how a road drives. Camber bumps and minute elevation changes make or break a good road. Usui had them, but nothing like this. Oh, look how narrow it got there. I thought, definitely thought it was going into the wall. Ooh. The tires are just gone. I cannot keep this thing in a straight line. And there we go. That is the finish line. What a great road. What a great mod. Go and check it out. Usui 2023 by Project Kaido.